To begin, you're going to need an H hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a worsted weight yarn in two colors. Now for this football applique, I use this dark brown, but because it's really hard to see in the video, I'm actually going to use this warm brown to show you guys how I make this football. You're also going to need a white yarn for the stitching. To begin, make a slip knot and chain two. It's one, two. Now you're going to place two single crochet in the second stitch from hook. So there's one, two, so the second stitch. Place two single crochet. Chain one and turn. Next, place two single crochet into the first stitch. There's one, two, and one into the next stitch. Chain one and turn. In the first stitch, place two single crochet and one of each of the following stitches. Chain one and turn. Next, place two single crochet in the first stitch and one in each of the next three stitches. There's one, two, three. Chain one and turn. Put two single crochet in this first stitch. There's one, two, and one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. That's two, three, four. Chain one and turn. Place two single crochet in this first stitch. and one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. It's two, three, four, five. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to single crochet one single crochet into each of your seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in the first stitch, two in the first stitch. It's one, two, and single crochet one in the next five. One, two, three, four, five and two single crochet in the last stitch. There's one, two. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to place one single crochet into each of the next nine stitches. There I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're going to chain one and turn again. You're going to place one single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. Again. So, just like the previous row. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to single crochet two together. To single crochet two together, insert your hook, grab your yarn, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, and pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now single crochet decrease by single crocheting the next two stitches together. Chain one and turn. Single crochet across. So your next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one and turn. 
Now you're going to single crochet two together and single crochet in the next five stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five. Chain one and turn. Single crochet the first two stitches together and single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Chain one and turn. We're going to decrease the next two stitches. There's into one and single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Chain one, grabbing some more yarn here. <laughs> single crochet two together and single crochet in the next two stitches. Chain one and turn. Single crochet the next two stitches together. Single crochet one, chain one, and single crochet the last two stitches together for one. Now you need to single crochet all the way around your football. So just like this. You single crochet around your football and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm just placing my last couple single crochet for the border of my football. And now you can slip stitch to your first single crochet and fasten off, but leave a nice tail because that's going to be what you're going to sew your football onto your project with. So grab and just pull through that tail just like that. Now you can pick up your white and um, I'm going to do like there's six inches, probably 12 inches worth of white and I'm going to put it on my yarn needle here. And I can show you guys really quick how I sew on the little stitching on the football. So I'm going to put my first little yarns right here. And just like through and through, just like that. And then on the back, you can just loop it through. You want to make sure it's a little bit loose so that it lies flat and then just sew it to the back of your work. Okay and then just fasten off that side and you can head over to the other side right over here and you can just do the same thing. So just through and through, just like that. And then just sew it to the back. And this side, as you see, I didn't knot it, but it should still work. Hopefully my yarn got really short. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to just snip that off. Now I'm going to get another little bit of yarn for the rest of the stitching. Okay, this part of the football, I actually only use one strand of thread, so I go ahead and put, or one strand of yarn, sorry, and I just put a little knot right in the end. Okay, so for this part, you can just judge and see how you like it as well, but I'm gonna put mine right here at, on the top. And honestly, it would look really cute too if you just put it right down the center, which I might do that just to show you. See how this one, I kind of put it at the top. There's the football, and it's right at the top. Well, this one, I will show you that it'll look just as cute if you put it right down the middle. So just like that. And then... Just put the little stitchings right in like this. And thank you so much for watching this video. 
I'm actually going to put the written description or written pattern in the description of this video. So go ahead and check that out. Please make sure to like this video, share it with your friends on Facebook, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.